From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your evening update. Hey, good evening folks. Still looking at the possibility of some shower and storm chances here as we head over the next couple of hours. Temperatures falling down from the 80s and even near 90 in some spots across the area. Back down to the 70s. Rain chances, uh, you know, they're still relatively lower, but if we do get some rain, there are going to be storms mixed in there. But uh, I do have a few things to discuss as to how that forecast is unfolding. So we're still on that level one out of five risk for points east of the shoals, level two south and west there. But uh, to be honest with you, I think the indications are more so that the better severe weather chances are going to be off to our south as this boundary is actually pushing down towards the 22 corridor and past Franklin County. And let me show you what I'm talking about, right? So on the models here, Notice here over the next couple of hours, you do see that band of storms, but as I just explained, it's off to our south and west, closer to where that boundary has pushed off south past the Tennessee Valley, right? We're in the wind regime of the northerly winds, so I think the chances are a little bit lesser here, but we still could see some stronger thunderstorms as we head over the next few hours, and especially through tonight, but I really don't think they're going to be that impactful. We still do have to watch for the possibility of some heavier downpours and some frequent lightning and you know, maybe some localized flooding in some of those saturated spots, but current indications seem to me to suggest that it will be further south where the more intense weather is going to be. But of course, if anything does happen, we've got everyone on standby, so no need to worry there, right? Now, we hold some shower chances into tomorrow morning, and I think even a few rumbles of thunder might be possible in North Alabama for the first half of our Monday, but we clear out pretty nicely as we head through Monday afternoon and Monday evening temperatures in the lower, perhaps mid 80s in some of the warmer spots, but I would give it about 81 or 82 uh, to expect for your Monday right now in the big picture looks pretty good not seeing any huge signs of life as far as the rest of the week's concerned that high pressure is doing us a lot of favors when it comes to what we look forward to for Tuesday for Wednesday for Thursday and it does look like off south Gulf maybe some activity there right but uh, nothing looks too impactful for that either it's actually trending off to our south and pushing that way so what originally looked like our next rainmaker there towards the end of the week it's not going to really unfold more than likely. So looks like we have a nice week to look forward to. So here's your hometown forecast for tonight. Cooling off with that northerly wind. Temperatures in the upper 50s, lower 60s. Still some thunderstorms possible. So let's keep an eye on this. We'll keep you notified if anything does come of that. But we'll be in the north, uh, north of 60 there in North Alabama. I think we're going to be 62 to 64, that sort of range, right? Definitely cooler than we have been over the last few nights. And highs will be correspondingly so, right? Notice Monday, notice Tuesday, and those lower 80s, right? We're not going to be quite as warm as we have been, but we will be by the time we're heading to the end of the week, right? Notice as we head towards Thursday and Friday, we get back into the 90s, and notice towards next weekend, we do see some increasing rain chances, but that's a good seven days out. Nothing to worry about right now. We'll keep a close eye on that. Past tonight, we have a nice week to look forward to.